Hey Verona, welcome back to my channel and this time I'm uploading and it hasn't been a month. That's really exciting. So I was sitting um, at home last night, pretty late at night, and I was like thinking about what I should make my next video on. And I was um, about to go to bed and I rolled over and I saw my old diaries and I was like, shoot, that's what we're going to do. Today guys, we're going to read some of my old diaries. I've kept a little like journal entry since kindergarten to current, like I still write like entries of life today. We're not gonna read anything from like middle school and high school, but kindergarten, fourth grade, third grade, second grade, now that, that we can read. So we're gonna do that today. I think we're gonna start off with kindergarten. Now, <laughs> I tried to go through the pages. I couldn't read the handwriting. Let me just show you like one of these entries. Like you let me know if you can make out what that says. Dear diary, there, I, genuinely can't tell you what that says. It must have meant something back in the day, but anyway, there is a journal entry in here, um, which is a little thing that my friend Emma and I did together when we were little called um, boys that are hot and boys that are not. These have no correlation with any real people. We just would do little drawings and um, write if they were hot or not. For some reason, every boy that I wrote that was not hot had snot coming out of his nose. I don't know if that was like a theme in kindergarten. Starting off, we have boys who, this is our cover tape page, boys who are hot and boys who are not. I'm going to insert some pictures of these because genuinely they're just so funny. So we start off with a man um, with, I think, spiked hair, some tattoos, and a tank top that says, Oh yeah, baby, it's not coming out of his nose. Clearly that's not something that I was into back then, so I don't know if I knew any guys with tattoos in kindergarten, but I guess I did. Now I'm kind of into tattoos, I don't know, whatever, times have changed. Then right next to him we have one that is labeled hot with, I think, hoop earrings. Um, He's dreaming about what I hope I've drawn as me, and um, some really nice, I think he got a tattoo of me, and a tank top, and I think some muscles, so. We got that going for us. Um, really, I'll just turn some more pictures. I can't really say too much about this, except for the fact that I just really, really didn't like guys with snot coming out of their nose. So that's kindergarten. So next, um, this is my journal that I kept from second grade to fourth grade. Like I was a pretty boring kid, but there are some pretty funny ones, so let's, let's go back. This one, this isn't really an entry even. This one is just a stream, <laughs> a stream of consciousness. It literally says, I forgot, this is not an entry, it's just stuff going through my mind. Number one, after I get back from my aunt's, I'm grounded. Well, I think. I'll ask mom on Wednesday. Two. I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. or 5.30 a.m. on the first day of school and make me look pretty with pins and stuff. I would bet money that I didn't get up at 5.30 or 5 a.m. on the first day of school to make myself look pretty. I'm just going to tell you right now. <laughs> Number five. What is the word wasted mean? Hmm. <laughs> Number seven. What are the different sex? the different ways to have sex, written in large letters on this side. Well, um, moving on. In all of my journal entries, I would do FOTD, which stands for Fashion of the Day. Um, began all the way back at my first journal entry um, with this little number. Let's go through some of these. Um, ooh, beautiful, I tell ya. Ooh, peace signs, they were all the rage, and clearly, Clearly, if you were wearing peace signs, at earrings, shirt, belt. This is my favorite entry from February 10th of 2010, so I was 10 years old. This one reads, Dear Journal, my life stinks. I really mean it stinks. My mother says that I'm only allowed to have one sleepover a month and one or two play days a week, depending on how good I was. Jeez, mom, that was tough, okay. My father says that, by the way, this is going to be stupid, so don't laugh, I'm probably gonna laugh. I am not allowed to have chicken nuggets until I turn 11. He means it too. Again, my life stinks. See you soon. Love, Sarah. Here's the fashion of the day that goes with this um, entry. 
It is a chicken nugget costume. Clearly something I wanted and needed in my life at that point in time. So, you're welcome. This is where <laughs> the book starts getting to talk about the boy I liked. Um, this boy I liked for a long time and it's kind of funny just to like read back because I, like my whole world revolves around this kid who barely knew me and now I just don't even care about dating or anything but like at the time it was, I was so irrelevant without a boy in my life. That's not the case anymore, clearly. I can't really even read some of this because it'll give away who it is. I mean, most people watching this, if you're like my friend, they probably know who I'm talking about. Like, I don't want to talk about it because like I'm cool with him now and like, whoo, cringe. But in this book, okay, this book is where it gets, honestly, every entry is about this kid. I'm going to change his name. Well, let's call him Troy. We don't have a Troy in my grade. So... Yeah, we're gonna call him Troy. But this this is called this is made by the brand Coke or Pepsi. I don't know if you guys growing up had Coke or Pepsi, but at my elementary school, Coke or Pepsi was the move. Like, you were nothing if at the Scholastic Book Fair you weren't getting a new Coke or Pepsi. So I have a bunch of Coke or Pepsis of like they're basically just surveys that you would take with your friends. It was like M and M's or Skittles pretzels or chips and like you just fill it out so you like get to know people and it was really really funny basically they made this this book where you filled in different questions about different months or different days and your your year so your my best year and they had like writing prompts and like places for you to write when it was like your saddest days your most embarrassing moments like when you were in love like etc it says private too much love honey you don't know what love is this is not love. Anyway, I just, I thought we'd go through some of these because these are funny, um, mainly revolving around the same person, but this is, took place in fourth grade. This one is one of the writing prompts. Um, can't really show you this page, it says his name in big letters, but it says, um, what are the qualities of a perfect crush? And I said the qualities of a crush is funny, smart, athletic, sensitive, honest, and adventurous. I would say that's still true. It says my crush is Troy. He's really nice and cute. I love him, but he likes someone else. Frowny face. <sighs> what can you do? What can you do? So this one is called The Summer of 2010. Sure, of a girl enjoying, you know, the sun. It asks a bunch of questions, you fill it in. It says, meet any boys? It says, you bubble in nah or yeah? And I wrote, yeah, sorta. It says, details, question mark, with a little space for you to write. And I said, well, the same guy, Troy. I see him at the pool all the time. He looks hot in his swimsuit. Ooh, ooh. Ah, this is so cringy. Uh, my most fabulous days, guess who they include? Troy. My life did not ever not be about Troy, I guess. August 23rd. Troy isn't in my class, frowny face. But his locker is right across from me. What's better than that? Score. Ha! Move on with your life, Sarah. God. March 18th, 2010. I'm happy because since Amy, Sabrina, and Jackie are tuning me out, Sabrina's old BFF is like my new BFF. Hi, Amy. Hi, Sabrina. Hi, Jackie. We're all still friends. All still hang out with them. Not mad at them, but apparently they were tuning me out, and I just I got new new friends. Okay, now this one is just, oh, just pure pain. It's called, These Were the Saddest Days Ever. I don't know if any of you guys watched the show Wizards of Waverly Place, but um, it was definitely my entire life. This entry, this was apparently one of the saddest days ever, and I do remember this. I remember bawling my eyes out over this episode, and you guys, let me know if you guys watched this episode when you were younger, but it says, January 22nd, 2010. I'm actually depressed over a TV show. The boy, Justin, parentheses, he's a wizard had a girlfriend, she's a vampire, and she turned old because she lost her powers. So now she's gone and 2,816 years old. And Alex, Justin's sister, had a werewolf boyfriend who turned into a full wolf, like, you know, woo, with a drawing of a wolf. I'm in love, or at least like days. Okay, so, um, here's a whole different guy who had a crush on in second grade he's referenced because he came back to our school and it says I saw 
Randy at school. He moved away in second grade. I used to like him, but I still like Troy. Ah! Yes, you're so conflicted because both of them were trying to get your attention. You're right, Sarah. You're right. <sighs> Ooh, I just found my number one song, which was Dynamite by T.O. Cruz. These are my top 10 songs of 2010. Evacuate the Dance Floor by Cascada was number two. Cascada? I don't know. Three, Break Your Heart by, again, T.O. Cruz. Number four, Remember the Name. Is it by? I don't know. Number five, Don't Stop Believing by the Glee Cast. Number six, In My Head I See You All Over Me. Jason Derulo, Party in the USA. That was, that was the, the, the bop. The bop. Number eight, if I Had You by Adam Lambert. Number nine, Gypsy by Shakira. And number 10, Mine by Taylor Swift. That's a good song. And oh, I wrote about my blog. My friends, um, my friends and I had a blog called um, Mems Forever, which stands for Meredith, Emma, Mora, Sarah, Forever. And um, we just thought we were really cool. We wrote it during class. Um, we had like free time on the computers. And we forgot our password, otherwise we probably still would have updated it. But I think, I didn't have this plan, but I feel like we should probably look at Mems Forever. Ooh, we used a lot of different fonts and colors. Hi, my name is Sarah. My favorite colors is, colors is hot pink, lime green, and aqua. I have no pets, boo hoo. Now I hear Hannah Montana is going off the air, yes. I'm lying, I was not excited Hannah Montana was going off the air. That is such a joke, like. <laughs> I loved Hannah Montana, I was just trying to be cool because nobody in fourth grade watched Hannah Montana except for me, I don't know why, but whatever. It says, there will be a new show called Good Luck Charlie. It's going to be sweet. Good Luck Charlie was sweet, but Hannah Montana was good too. My friend Emma wrote, oh my god, this is funny. Sorry, Emma. It says, hi, my name is Emma. I love cheese, but I love peanut butter. So does my puppy Shadow. I love my friends and dead people. My favorite color is this blue. And she Yes, my friend Sarah makes good eggs. She just made some. Remember, dead people are awesome. Okay, why'd you make good eggs? But, um, Emma had this whole, like, dead people goth emo thing going for her in, like, elementary school. She's really into, like, the whole, like, anti-jokes and, like, everything. I don't know why, but she's very different now. She doesn't like dead people as much, I guess, but I don't know. Ooh, Amy is making a reappearance. Hey, almost middle schoolers, Sarah here saying, what's up? I'd like to give a little shout out to my friend Amy. You rock. She is so nice and would never, ever, ever, ever hurt me. Hi, all disregard everything that Meredith said about how she was pretty. Emma, savage. <laughs> That's so mean. That's hilarious. I love it. Okay, well, that took a turn. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed hearing me read about my friend's love for dead people and my love for Troy. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And if you want to see more of my face, I make new videos every week-ish, and you should click that red subscribe button because it really, 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 really helps me out. Join the fam, we have fun. If you want to keep up to date with me, uh, make sure to add me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Links are down below. Yeah, that's all I have for you guys today.